What's up guys, so Poly Popo here, and yes, 2.6 just dropped, uh, probably a while ago, <laughs> but uh, I want to run you guys through this, it's really important, so uh, to get the update going on and everything like that, you got to go to your Akai site, and I just wanted to run you through this because you don't want to go back and forth, I'm one of those guys that I just want to do it right the first time, and I don't want to, when I go to Walmart, I don't want to be going back to the produce section, you know what I mean? I don't, I like to just grab it in one direction and go. So, that being said, whenever you're at your, uh, when you're at your site here, and you go ahead and you go to download it, you probably can't see too well, but my wheel is going all the way towards the top. So you gotta scroll down quite a bit. So, Right here, you can actually see, I'm gonna zoom out on my screen here so you can see what's going on. Hopefully. Something. Goodness. All right, you wanna play it off? Wanna play? Here. Alright, so you can see my screen, right? And what I'm trying to get at is when you download this, the new 2.6 uh, MPC update, you got your Windows and your Mac. If you got a Mac, you have at it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but what you but what you need to do also is notice this says MPC 2.6 okay but you need to go all the way down here to the bottom uh, i know a lot of people are going to download that and be like bam you got it and they're going to load it up on their software and it ain't going to pop up right and you're going to have to come back to do this so you want to scroll all the way down towards the bottom i'm talking almost all the way even after all these offers and everything and down here you'll see your firmware update MPCX, MPC Live, firmware update. Why they put that at the bottom, I have no idea. I, um, I, I don't know why they do that. I think that uh, if it's a new update, they should be able to put it at the top. Anyway, uh, so whenever you download that, you're gonna go ahead and pop up your zip files that popped up. MPC install. Don't worry about the installer assets. It's just install MPC for the application. Extract all. I save it. Just hit extract. It takes uh, probably about 30 seconds. I'm at 70% right now. So we just did that one. And right now I'm just updating the, the I'm downloading it right now, right? So we got the install MPC file, which is legit. And now we need to go to the updater, which we just did. I have to edit this out. Alright, so as soon as you got that, so it's like install MPC. So you go ahead and you click on your install MPC. And this really, I don't really have a great uh, view on the screen right now. But yeah, this is what we're going for here. Gonna, let me fix this, guys. Cool. We're just going to keep going. 
So what you want to do now is uh, on your, let me show you what screen pops up. So I'm trying to do two things at once and it's just not happening. So you'll have this that pops up, which you'll select your MPC, select your MPC X, update MPC software. It only supports 64 bit. I mean, it's you need you need to do 64 bit. If you need to know why 64 bit, it's because of binary and a regular character like A. When you type in A, it has 16 digits, and you know everybody is like a social security number. They need more digits for stuff like this. So it's like now they have to put like hexadecimals, which includes characters and symbols. So, install, 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 install. And uh, yeah, I just think that that's really crucial that you guys do that part right. Whenever you're on your MPC site, when you scroll at the top, it's going to say MPC uh, 2.6, and you're going to download it. And then got to go to the, all the way to the bottom and it's going to say firmware update also. You got to have both of the files. So let's go fast forward to this. Maybe not. I don't know. I appreciate you guys uh, very much for sending out those prayers the other day. I'll let you guys know everything went out uh, very well. Uh, let's have a little checkup. Uh, couple of weeks and finish okay we're good right it's very easy after that you just hit run MPC yes it should pull up the software I'm thinking and and now that's the easy part okay um, I see, okay, we're not even gonna look at what I'm seeing right now because I want to update the firmware. Software pulled up, okay, just letting you know. I'm gonna hit update MPC because on the second file, which was the firmware, this pops up. Update MPC, MPC X live not detected. Okay, so to do this, Gotta hit main. Come on, man. <laughs> supposed to be a touch screen, man. Alright, to do this, you have to hit empty project. gonna go hit menu preferences this is this little gear icon right now we're running 2.5 and it's like where's the update remember when I said whenever there's this little arrow you have to hit the shift button so you hit that shift button and we're gonna update are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode? Blah, 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 blah. Update. Shutting down. And it restarts in update mode, okay? And I know this is uh, this video has been dragged out, but a lot of people, I, you, you need to do this right. So, okay, we're in update mode. So now you hit update MPC. Preparing to update. And I'll get the picture right with the OBS and all that eventually, man. I'm just trying to get the, the instructions down, right? They don't look pretty on... Just... Trust me, you want to do it this way. And I'll run through all of it and, and sum it all up real fast. And I'll chop it all up and make it look pretty and all that. But the 
as far as the screen where I'm inside the screen and OBS and doing all that, I just don't like using my computer, man. So it's what it is. But when it comes down to NPC stuff like that, I'll definitely zoom in and be able to do that. But I'm really interested to see what stuff they brings in standalone mode. I, mean, I should fix my song mode problem or I can't insert different sequences in song mode. Probably didn't, but I have to use the computer for that. That's fine, but I'm really interested to see what this does in the standalone. Programming update, update mode. You just kind of don't touch nothing. Just let it sit there and do its thing. Done. Okay, so. You hear the difference in sound quality is because I have a huge air conditioning unit out there and I need to soundproof that. All right, so we're done. Let's go to download directory to not be found. That was an error because of uh, the 2.5. That's not an error because of 2.6 so far. This is 2.5 when it right downloaded it and they had the splice integration. I don't have a splice account that I use on here so this pops up every single time so let's go ahead I'm not gonna look at anything on here I guess I have to they updated some of the uh, some of the pictures it looks awesome uh, let's see we're gonna hit empty project brow uh, sorry menu there's so much different stuff on there. 2.6. Right on. Let me mess with this for just a second here and edit this little... Let me get in here and soak this up for a second. Okay. Wait. Alright. Here we go. I just saw so much stuff. Like when you turn it on, uh, right in the beginning when you have your user templates, and I'm in standalone also. Uh, it, it, the pictures look really dope. So I don't even want to know what the new. I, I do want to know, and I'm gonna go over all that. But for this video, I just want to make sure that you guys download it the right way. Okay. Uh, I'll put some more together here really fast but other than that I still have to update the Akai Force and it's the same process the gear download the I don't know if it has a software so that's another video I'm going to make here next all right guys I'll talk to you here in a little bit I respect all you guys man I appreciate you very much for uh, everything and, and, and thanks again I'll talk to you later bye